Hey guys, this is Hooker, and please check out my sponsor, EasyMutt.com, for the safest and cheapest Madden 22 coins across all platforms. Follow them on Twitter at EasyMutt1 for daily coin giveaways. Use code Hooker for 5% off. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Hooker back at you with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video. Today, we're going to be chasing after this Team of the Week LTD, Jamal Adams, 95 overall. He's still going for just under a million coins. I think last time I checked, the last one sold was for like 980, so still going for a lot. He's, he's a card I'm really interested in picking up, so we're going to rip open some more packs for him today, see if we can get lucky. Um, we might even do one more pack opening going for him, depending on how this goes today. Um, but if you guys are new to the channel, please do consider hitting that sub button, smash the like, comment down below. I appreciate it. We're going to be opening up all pro fantasy packs. We might do a few regular pro fantasy packs or get a gold towards the end. We're going to see how these go, but let's see our first shot at getting ourselves Jamal Adams on day, on day two. So the last day he's available in packs. First round, I mean, I'm not expecting much. Like I'm not expecting to pull him. I just I just want to put our best foot forward to attempt to get him and that's a pretty bad that's a pretty bad round right there. And final round here. Let's make it up. Let's make up for it right here. 79 is not gonna not gonna get the job done. 82 Calvin Ridley and we get a legend card. 85 Jerry. We'll take Jerry. <laughs> uh not necessarily what we are. Uh, we're hoping to be getting out of um, our all pro fantasy packs, our 62,000 coin packs, but that's what we got. That's where we're at. So let's see if we can turn this around, get a little more value. I think the last time I opened all pro fantasy packs, it was like the best pack opening I've ever had, like value wise, like as of like, as of lately, like obviously 86, there we go. Um, Obviously, towards the beginning of the year, the value is significantly higher. And a re I'm pretty sure the Ray Lewis power-up is actually a little bit more expensive because I don't think a lot of people were making this set. Uh, so, potentially a few thousand coins. There are 86 Quinn and Williams. And is this it? 87 Byron Murphy. That teased me. I'm not sure if Byron Murphy is going for more than Quinn and Williams or not, so we're going to hang on to that one. But I definitely... Final round, final slot. I see that team of the week animation. I'm, I'm, my head's instantly going to. We did it, Jamal Adams, and unfortunately, uh, didn't work out in our favor. But it's fine. I, don't, I'm, we're not gonna pull him. It's just, it's just nice to to have that little little something to chase after. So we're not just opening packs just to open packs or anything like that. And we do get Matthew Stafford team of the week again. And of course, 89 Kyle Pitts. It's a much better pull. Uh, still not, not the 95. If they want to keep giving us like a plus one on that, I think by the end of these packs, it would end up with us at 95. So yeah, if you want to keep doing that with team of the week, we're fine with that. If you want to give us a 90 this time, perfectly fine. I like the first round elites though. We can get some doubles. We get an all elite pack. I'd be feeling pretty good, but that's not very likely. As of course, we got three elites here. We get an 88 Giovanni Bernard. We got Chris Carson. So we actually almost pulled it off right here. And I'm like, oh, it's not. It's not gonna happen. 79. Hopefully, elite here. 87 Colt Komet, and we get a legend. 88 Ted Hendricks. We'll take it. That one, I mean, I think we, we made some coins on this pack, but just because we pulled two 88s and five elites out of six cards. That's not a that's not a very likely pack. That doesn't happen often, not common. That was a very lucky pack. And get a legend here in the first round. 87 Mike Haynes. Marcus Golden power up. Not a terrible first round. And then we get Joel Batonio. Can we get some more elites? These packs seem to be heating up a pinch. Then as soon as I say that, we get something like that. Final round here. 86. 80 Trey Flowers. 90. 79. And 88. 85 Lane Johnson. We'll take the 85. Not necessarily what we want. We wanted that to be 95. <laughs> but... Doesn't 
it doesn't happen and i'm i'm so over here like maybe the more we beg for it the more it'll happen but i'm just gonna stop asking for it i just let's just have some, we're just gonna have some fun the rest of these we're just, we're just here to open up some packs see if these packs are, are are any good today so far they haven't been terrible today but not like the greatest either 86 82 rashad lawrence and we get a harvest card 84 a dome not even going to attempt that first name because i know i will completely butcher it so we got four more all pros <laughs> like i don't know i definitely feel like i have lost a lot of coins doing these so far today i don't think that i'm going to walk out of here with a profit 87 in the first round here we go could this be the infamous all elite pack depends on this middle round it could happen. We got 86 Stefan Gilmore. It can't happen. <laughs> um, we'll take the 279s, but we got some decent elites in this one. Power up. Andre Johnson. 85 Evan Ingram. That was close to... I mean, that was a good first round. That's really what it was. With the 87 and 86 base elites, those are nice. It's crazy that our best pull came out of the first round. But, you know... You can't you can't control the way it happens. That's just the way it works sometimes. So let's see if we can we can end this strong. We got two what two or three more packs to go, and that's a rough start. But we'll clean up here in the middle round, right? Like three elites back to back. Legend eighty six Troy P. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video. I did pull full Troy Palomalu out of a game changer pack. I was so pumped. We got Mike Purcell eighty four Daniel Hunter. There we go. Oh. Gold legend, full Ed Reed, 90 overall, back-to-back -back full legend pulls. Let's go. I don't think Ed Reed's going for, I mean, he could be going for a little bit just because he did have that most feared card, so he does go into an upgrade, but it's not like that new of a card anymore. But still full legend pull and a 90 in the first round here. Back-to-back -back animations were 90 overalls. Brandon Cooks. Thank you, sir. We'll take Tre Trevor Lawrence there. We get some elites here in this middle round. We do get one, and it's 88 Willie McGinnis. Like, it ends up being, like, a good one. <laughs> and final round here. Team of the week. What do we got? 80 overall Miles Garrett. Base elite. 80 Leonard Fournette. And a legend. 87 Vilma. I do believe we have one more pack, right? Back-to-back -back 90 pulls. That's 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 cool with me. You can get like one more. You get another 90 pull. I'd be super pumped. I know they're not going for nearly as much as they were with no training rerolls out there to kind of boost the value of cards, but we'll see. 89. Do it. Uh, 80 overall. Can we get some more elites here? Nope. He's like, nah, you ain't getting any more. All right, final round. We get another gold legend card. What do we get? 87 Bruce Matthews. Like one of the worst golds it could have been. And we get a harvest. This could be a 90. But it's an 84. So we'll take Bruce Matthews. And no crazy LTD pulls. We're going to do one walk off little pack. We're going to do a single get a gold pack. And see if we can get an LTD out of this. Or something crazy. It's probably going to be like a 74 overall or whatever. Yep. But guys, thanks for checking out my video. I appreciate it. Appreciate all of you guys. I love you all. Stay safe and I'll see you guys real soon.